what do you what are you looking for and what do you see when you take Garrett out right there? Well, right now he's you know, it's it's a little more pitch count dependent, you know. Um you know, as the season as we get deeper in the season it changes a little bit and and he's pretty easy to talk to during the game, you know, getting kind of honest feedback to kind of confirm or or you know, things we're seeing or thinking um you know so today it was he was probably a little past the number that he was going to go um but i felt like i definitely wanted him to go up, go back out there um and i thought he did a really nice job of of getting it getting a couple outs there and then um but i felt like once he got tay oscar out there for the second out he was he was past the point that i was you know starting to be comfortable to go with him tonight brendan on the first Vladdy Homer, what did you guys initially see on that? It looked like Hicks was questioning whether the ball went over the wall. Yeah, um, I thought I heard something actually. Like when he hit and they initially ruled double, my first thought was I, I thought it hit something almost like sounded like wood or hard um, over. I wasn't really sure. You know, I just saw the ball flop back over. So I don't know if it hit something back there or not. Um, I haven't. I, I saw a quick replay of it on an iPad, but but I didn't get a really good vantage point of it, so I really haven't dove into it yet. But when I first, in real time, I, f- I felt like I heard something kind of hit, but I wasn't sure. Andy, it seems like Sears has the stuff to pitch in leverage spots, higher leverage spots. So, what would you need to see based on spring and a little bit tonight to to get even? No. Yeah. Um, I mean, he's his fastball plays. That, there's no question. And it was really good to see him come in. Not the easiest part of an order going through, uh, you know, Espinal, Springer, and Bichette there, obviously. Um, but it was really good to see him come in and pound the strike zone. Used his secondary stuff, which helps his fastball play, which his fastball does play. Um, you know, he's really stretched out right now. So we we we, you know, ideally we're looking to get some length for him, but. Um, as I said at the start of the season, you know, when we were deciding on 15, 16 pitchers, um, you know, we knew for those last couple of spots, we were deciding between guys that we think can really pitch, and JP falls into that.